on their way. Lead it, Schmidt. Lead it. I'll follow. There's so much sounds, nobody else is here. Alright, we'll stay uh, with you on the phone until officers arrive on scene. Okay, four arms, I'll go behind. I'm about to go to the middle of... Who blessed everything? He's in a room nearby. Alright, sir. The officers are on their way as soon as possible. Uh, does someone want to... Two Bravo 18 to all units, remember when you get close, those lights and sirens. Also, stay a little bit away from the house. Okay. Three Bravo 12 to all units, anyone know where this house is? Uh, negative. Apparently at house 13. There's no house 13. That's what he reported. There's an icon on there. Uh, 2117, is this the place right here? Sounds like South Far in here. This might be. Yeah. Alright, everybody stage up. Nine one one reportedly the uh, caller hung up. This apparently is the wrong house. It's not. It's not. You're in the right house. Uh, guys, there's stairs here. Stand back. We got a tear gas right here. Shots fired. Come any closer and the kid dies. Sir, this is uh, state police. I don't give a fuck who you are. What is it that you want? I want you out of this house. That's not going to happen, sir. Is there anything else I can do? Either you get out of this house or the kid dies. Alright, sir. We'll leave, okay? Alright, we'll just act like we're leaving. Sir, please don't. <clears throat> Take this gun. Hold me out of here. What? You ready? You ready? Put your hands up. He's got the gun. He's got the kid's got the gun. No, 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 cuff them both. Cuff them both. Cuff them both. Walk forward with your hands, but help me, officer. He, he's trying to shoot me. Oh. All right, don't, sir. Don't move in the purple, don't move do forward. not move. Okay. Batch three, Bravo twelve. Suspect is in custody. All right, go ahead. I was go laying in here in my bed, and this this kid grabbed the gun and tried to shoot me. Alright, let's get them both no, outside. Ten four. Yeah, he gave me the gun. I, I, we don't even own any guns. Alright, man. So, you, you do have the gun on you, don't you? 
he he forced me to take it. All right, I, I just want to know because I want to search you, and when I find the gun, I'm just going to make sure that I know it's his and not yours. All right. Does it have a serial number on the back? Does it have a serial right, number on the back? Just go ahead and let this guy. Uh, yep, it does. All right, I'll go ahead and grab that, and I'll run it through uh, NCIC search. All right, you may go ahead and let this guy go. I mean, I've heard that he was the uh, definitely the caller in this uh, case. Um, I'll wait for right now until we hear what the other guy says, and I guess we'll all make a determination of who the suspect is and who the victim is. I mean, I have my school ID card and everything like that in my room in this house. Alright, man, do you have your ID on you? No, I don't. My school ID is upstairs. Alright, man. Colonel, do you know where uh, Sergeant Schmidt is? Uh, negative. Unless they're back over there behind me somewhere. They, uh, yeah, they can. Alright, sir, is this your weapon right here? Mine? Yes. No, the suspect gave it... The person gave it to me and told me to pretend that I was him so you guys would get me in trouble. He gave it to me. Okay. And you're my 911 caller? Yes. Alright, sir, just... The only reason we have you here right now... I Whoa. have my. Go ahead. I have my school ID card and everything like that upstairs. Okay. Well, the only reason we have you handcuffed right now is for our protection, you know, because we both ca we all came in and we didn't know who was who. This is for our protection as well. Okay. I mean, just bear with us when we get this all straightened out. The right person will go to jail and the right person will go home. Okay. Fine. Dispatch 3 Bravo 12. Go ahead. I got the uh, sus uh, suspected caller from that burglary on Normandy Drive. Is it okay if you listen to his voice and just see if you recognize him as the caller? 10 4. Alright, so I'm going to have you speak here with a 911 caller and just uh, let him listen to your voice and make sure you're actually right the caller. So can you just like, say something? Okay. Hello? Alright. Dispatch 3 Bravo 12 is this the caller? 10 4. It is the caller. Alright, thank you. Right now, I'm going to uh, take these handcuffs off of you. Um, Thank we just, you. God. We just confirmed that you are not the um, suspect. You are, in fact, the number one caller. So let me get uh, turn around and I'll unpick these for you. And I'll probably have to wait until the other deputy does that.
One Apple 28 Dispatch. Um, who was the uh, one that um, handcuffed the um, teenager? Three Bravo 12. Uh, you mind uncuffing them for, for me? 10 4, I'm walking out there now. It's okay if you uh, get his ID. 10 4. Alright, sir, when this uh, deputy goes ahead and um, uncuffs you, you mind um, take me inside with your house so we can uh, get your ID? Yes, I have my ID in my room. Okay. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and um, Three grab Bravo his... 12, um, directed to Bravo 18. Alright, you ready, sir? 10-9. 3, Bravo 12, directed to Bravo 18. Go ahead. Be advised, I asked him, and so did the trooper at different times. He claims that his ID and pseudo ID is in his bedroom where we currently made their rest at, uh, which is where the other um, supposedly suspect slash victim says his ID is. So the colonel over uh, Colonel Kidd is going to walk in there with the supposed 911 caller and look at his All ID. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. This is my student ID. Alright, sir. Just give me a second, I'll go ahead and run it and just stay here for a second. One Alpha 28 dispatch. Dispatch, go ahead. Can I get a name check on a Nick Johnson common spelling? Okay, stand by. What Alpha 28 dispatch? Go ahead. Name comes back clean for a Nick Johnson. Ten four. What to say? All right, sir. Here you go. I uh, came back clear. Two Bravo 18 to three Bravo 12. Direct. Three Bravo 12, go ahead. Okay. Uh, is there any way we can get pictures of Chris and Avery Johnson, uh, the supposed parents of Nick Johnson, and can we get a, uh, a description of their race? All right, okay, I will try to get pictures, um, but I'll see if I can get a description with dispatch for three Bravo 12. 10-4. Dispatch 3, Bravo 12. So, sir, go ahead. what are you going to school for? I need you to it's read me off a description school. of a Chris oh, and like Avery Johnson, school? if possible. 10-4, let me pull their names up. 10-4. 3, Bravo 12. Dispatch? 3, Bravo 12, go ahead. The pictures pull up of African Americans, uh, known associates, their son, which shows here to be adopted, one by the name of Nick Johnson. Hey, 10 4 dispatch to Bravo 12. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 3 Bravo 12 directed to Bravo 18. Go ahead. A Chris and Avery Johnson does come back as an African American, and their son Nick Johnson is adopted. Ten four, thank you. All right, sorry. You just want to have a seat here. I'm gonna go ahead and check on my other deputy. No, no, that kid's white. Okay, well, that gentleman over there, Nick Johnson, is the adopted son of Chris and Avery. Man, get out of here. Dispatch has confirmed it. So, I'm going to ask you again, what is your relation, or how do you know Chris and Avery Johnson? 
I want my lawyer. Because as of right now, it's sitting. Nick Johnson had the right to be in that house. It sounded like he he lives there, so it's starting to play out that you entered that house and you were trying to, you know, rob that house or whatever. I ain't saying nothing else. I want my lawyer. Okay. Well, right now you're being charged with uh, breaking and entering and home invasion. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand these rights that I've read to you? Yeah, man. Just get me off the street. And All also, right. I'll be adding on a charge of uh, shooting towards uh, police personnel. Also, I wouldn't shoot that. Well, I, we I identified, when we I identified myself when I entered the premises. Someone fired at me and then shot at me. And then whoever had the weapon also um, use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. I said, officer, did I have a gun on me? You forced Nick to take the gun and hold you hostage to make you look like the victim. You can't prove it. Three Bravo Patrol directed to Bravo 18. Go ahead. I want to be kind of directing traffic here at Milton Road just to keep the traffic flow going. 10 4. All right, sir. Um, it appears that uh, we will be charging the guy that broke into your home uh, with multiple charges. Um, at this time, um, I'm going to give you a business card. Um, this is for grief counseling. Um, if you wish to see anyone uh, through our department for any type of uh, grief or anything like that, or see a psychiatrist, um, you can contact that number. Um, my number is also on this card right here. Um, if you have any more information. What if he comes back? Well, that's not probably going to be not likely. He's got a long list of felonies that's going to be attached to him. So I seriously doubt he will come back. But like I said, my Mr. name Johnson. is on the card. So if there's any issues or anything like that, you can call me directly. Okay. Mr. Johnson, before we let you go, do you, do you recognize that gentleman? No, I don't. Okay, because your claim is uh, Chris, which I believe is your mother, correct? Who? Chris Johnson, which would be your mother? No. The dispatch relayed that your parents are Chris and Avery Johnson, your uh, adopted parents. It's the other way around. Avery's the mother, Chris is the father. Actually, okay. I think I, I think I do know that person, and I called, I told my parents about it, who called the police department. He followed me home from school one day. So, you, so Chris and Avery Johnson are your parents, correct? Yes. That gentleman seems to be the uncle of Chris Johnson. He seems to know a lot about your family. Go ahead. We've my parents have called the police on him before because he followed me home from school. Okay. Um, what I would suggest when your parents get back, because I guess they're out of town, is get a restraining order they're against him. Um, and just just be watch out because uh, he seems to know this house very well. He seems to know your family very well. Uh, he is going to be locked away for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, he will get out, and so you guys need to take extreme measures to protect yourself and your family. Okay, well, they're not getting back until later tomorrow. What was that? They're not getting back until later tomorrow. Okay, well, like I said, he's going to go to jail, so he, he's going to be uh, locked away for a while. So it, 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 this isn't something that needs to happen now, but you guys do, do need to take care of this. I'll tell them. 
All right, uh, you go ahead and have yourself a nice night, Mr. Johnson. All right, uh, who has the firearm? I uh, do. It's still much wrong. All right, make sure um, we get that down to uh, forensics. Make sure they dust it, like every inch of it. I want to definitely want to get his finger, uh, fingerprints on it. Okay, I'm going to transport him to the station. All right, 10-4.